Hi everyone, Monk here, and this time I bring you the complete guide of how you can get yourself this epic Avan Dwarven mount. I'll explain precisely where and how to get all parts for this mount. And before we begin, if you do like the video and it helps you in any way, then please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And here we go. I'll be explaining the location and the drops in the same order as they are listed in the game. This way it would be much easier for you to correlate the parts you are missing from the video. So before any delay, the first item is one of the most easy ones to get. The location for this is in Alkir at the crafting location same as for Alicia's bulwark. Just go inside the crafting area and in the back under a rubble you can pick up this lead. And this was the first and the last easy part of this hunt. For the second lead we go to Stonefalls in the Delve Inner Sea Armature. The Delve boss drops it so just camp as a spawning place as it was shown on the map and eventually it will drop. The third lead can be found in the Delve Clazars in Bankroy. Same as before it drops here as well from the Delve boss so keep sending him to hell till you get it. The fourth lead is a random mob drop from the Delve Mazulft in East March. As you can see on the map inside this place, uh, go to the section as showed and is filled with fast spawning Dreamer Trash mob. Drop rates are fairly good and it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. I saw a lot of people come and go and uh, I think it took them about uh, on average 4 to 5 minutes to get their drops. For the fifth one, we are going back to Alkir and this time into the Del Aldoons. Again, another Del boss drop, so you know what to do. The drop rates are pretty good. I got uh, I think in third kill, so shouldn't be that bad. Six piece is a mob drop in Stress Magai. It drops from the mob in and out of the bazaar area, so be ready to go round and round at this location. Also, if you can't access the area, then the quest giver to unlock it is also nearby. A bonus tip here: the Dreamer Star Chart furnishing also drops from the same mob. And now the seventh piece, another Del boss drop from Avanchizel in the Rift. A lot of people might be camping this, so make sure to do some decent damage to get your drop. For the next one, you might want to grab a friend or two, as it drops from the group delve in uh, Mathuraz in Kraglor from the Brass Hashling boss. This boss or location can also be soloed in case you're feeling adventurous. Drop rates are pretty good, at least I got it in two kills. Ninth and first of the dungeon drop locations. It drops from the last boss of Bolenfell in normal mode, so grab a few friends and farm the crap out of this place till you get your piece. Drop rates are not terrible, 4 or 5 runs should be enough to get the drop. Tenth piece is again from a dungeon, but this time normal mode Darkshade Caverns 2 from the Engine Guardian. This dungeon can be done pretty fast, just skip all the mob and kill a couple of bosses on the way to the last one. And uh, the drop rates are also pretty good. Because I did this dungeon 4 times and every time someone in my group got a lead. The 11th lead you will find in the public dungeon Razak's Wheel in Bankurai. There are 3 Dreamer bosses here as shown in the map and all of them have a chance to drop this item. So it's your call to camp 1 or you can just keep farming all 3. Number 12. This is again a public dungeon drop but this time in Blackreach. As you can see in the map, all these bosses are perfectly in a circle. So keep going in circle till one of them drops it. The place is big but there's nothing you can do to make the grind short. Being a knight blade helps though. For the 13th piece, if you haven't done the fighter skilled quest, then this is the time to finish it. Because it drops from steam room number 3 and this can only be accessed once you have finished the quest. So once here, just walk to the back of the room and pick up the piece from the rubble on the ground. For the 14th lead, we go to the Cold Harbor and here just camp the world boss Zamarek till it drops the lead. Should be fairly easy as uh, lots of people would probably be camping this spot or in worst case scenario you can always ask for help in the zone chat. Now for the 15th lead, we go back again to Darkshade Chaos but this time to Darkshade 1. It drops again from the last boss and as before, just speed running this place in normal mode will get you your drop in uh, no time. Now 16th lead takes us back to another group Delvin Cracklord and this time it drops in insert unpronounceable name Delve from the last sentinel boss. Fairly easy to do or you can always bring a friend along. Now the 17th and final piece. If you have been patient enough so far I congrats you in advance. 
This piece also drops in Craglord from the Breathe the Name Yourself boss from the Dell I can't pronounce the name. Similar to the Dells from before in Craglord, you know what to do. So that was it guys, we made it. I hope the journey to get the mount was not too hard on you. And even if it was, the end result was totally worth it. So I'll leave you here with your quest and if you have any questions, feel free to post them in comments below. And if you need help with any other mythic items, feel free to check out my other videos as well. Good luck hunting and uh, see you soon in the next one.